is an EA a legal requirement? Like, do I really need an EA before I do my project? Yes, you do. Let me tell you. An EA is a legal requirement, and this is within the law. What does that mean? It means an EIA is provided by the law. And this is provided by two laws specifically that we're going to mention in this video. And that is the Environment Management and Coordination Act of 1999. This is, of, this is an amendment of 2015. What it talks about is that any person who wants to do any project must make sure that an EIA is done to see that the project is safe to the environment and that the impacts will be mitigated enough. And of course now that what I'm not quoting, I'm just paraphrasing, but what that means is that you have to do an EIA before you implement any project and talks about it very clearly in a regulation that is called the EIA EA, that is the Environmental Impact Assessment Stroke Environmental Audit Regulation of 2006, talking about an EIA, providing the EIA as a legal requirement. Yes, so an EIA is provided by the law of Kenya. And so the law saying that you need to do an EIA before you implement your project, if you're doing otherwise, then you're going against the law. And if the law catches up with you, then you can be sure you're getting to trouble. Okay, so if you are doing a church, if your church members want to do a church, construct a church, you don't have an EIA license, you are getting yourself in trouble. If you're doing a petrol station, if you are doing a residential building, I have done these videos, low risk projects, this video here, I've done about a medium risk project, this video here, I've done about high risk project, this video here, I've done about who needs to do the EIA or who is qualified, this video here. I have done about all these things to help you understand about the EIA. So you going ahead with your project without an EIA, I'm just saying it is against the law because an EIA is a legal uh, provision. It is a legal uh, requirement. And we talked about an, an uh, EIA being administered by NEMA. Meaning after we, for example, after I do an assessment for my client, the report, I report to NEMA and then NEMA is the one that is going to issue you with a license. And actually the law goes ahead to say that no any other license should be issued to a project if it does not have the EIA license. So that means legally there is not any other license that is supposed to be issued to you before you do an EIA or an environmental audit. For example, if you're doing the petroleum industry, EPRA is not supposed to offer to give you a permit or license to go ahead with the petroleum uh, selling petrol before you have an EIA. And so you have seen this happening. I'm sure some people can comment down and tell me if they have experienced this. Right now you go to the bank for a mortgage because you want to do a residential house, five story, four story, seven story, or you want to do a project like a petrol station, you want to do a borehole, you go to the government, to the bank or to the financial institutions and they are going to ask an EMA license for your project. Before they fund your residential building, before they fund your commercial building, one of the requirements is that they will want to see clearance from NEMA. It is getting that serious and of course with the time it is going to get more and more serious but at least now you know an EIA is a legal requirement that is supported and provided by the law of Kenya and so if you're going against or you're doing otherwise now that is an offense and you can find yourself in a course of law being fined or even imprisonment we are going to talk about that more in more videos in the future videos of, you know, the terms of 
an offense what is an offense in the environment and such things but at least now you know it is provided by the law and going against that is an offense and you can find yourself prosecuted in a court of law so make sure to watch this video and these videos that i'm going to link up here i'm sure you like them if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe share it with a friend and till next time keep safe